A cigarette saved the life of rocket engineer Mikhail Yangel. Like NASA, the Soviet Union had their share of disasters during the space race. However, many of them did not come to light until decades later. The Netherlands disaster was one such incident. On October 24, 1960, as many as 300 engineers, scientists, and military members are believed to have died when an R-7 rocket and ballistic missile exploded at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. The R-7 launched Sputnik and Soviet manned missions. One confirmed dead was Mitrofan Nedelin, the Soviet chief marshal of artillery. Countdown began on October 23rd, but at liftoff, the rocket failed. Crews remained in the blockhouse. Nedlin, however, feared Premier Nikita Khrushchev's wrath. Finally, around midnight, Nedlin ordered an inspection. Standard procedure was to first drain propellants. In the haste to find the failure's cause, that wasn't done. As the crew undertook the hazardous assessment, Yangel suddenly had a tobacco craving. Safety rules prohibited smoking, so Yangel disappeared into the blockhouse. As he lit the cigarette, the R-7 exploded. The explosion illuminated the sky for 62 miles. Victims were vaporized. That Yangel was in the blockhouse saved his life. In 1966, after Sergei Korolev, the head of Russia's space program, died during a surgery, Yangel succeeded him. Exactly 11 years and one day later, on October 25, 1971, death came for Yangle. He was only 59.